Since man first walked upright, he has looked to the stars and wondered, are we alone in this cold corner of space? If something is out there, would it be friend or foe? What would this Earth man think if he could see a desperate spaceship fleeing at a speed faster than imagination? What would he think if he saw the impact of potently powerful neutronic missiles upon its fragile frame? What would he make of the strange pod that ejected from the ruined remains just in time to avoid its mysterious inhabitants' destruction? And would he gape in wonder at the dozen or so strange canisters that burst from its hole and fell towards the atmosphere of our guileless globe? What emotion would pass through his mind as he observed these self-same containers as they passed through our atmosphere and fell upon the surface of an unsuspecting metropolis? So many questions, and so few answers. Until now, dear viewers. Until now. An old man sits on a park bench, thinking of a time shrouded in the past. His name is Frank Stiles, and he was once one of the brilliant young scientists who worked on the Manhattan Project. The Manhattan Project, the secret experiment that ushered in the wonders and terrors of the atomic age, was his work that helped secure America's position as the leader of the free world. But Frank's memories are tinged with bitterness, for he was thrown off the project when he accused one of his fellow scientists of being a communist spy. And now he sits in this park, every day feeling a little older, and a little more useless. Just a minute. I recognize that man. It's O'Connor from the Manhattan Project. They never did believe me he was working for the Reds. But who's that suspicious fellow he's talking to? It looks like they're making some kind of secret exchange. I better move in closer for a better listen. Have you got the documents? Do you have my money? By Lenin's ghost, is that all you Americans think about? The almighty dollar? Damn, I've been discovered. Idiot, you've been followed. Up here, old tricks, O'Connor? Do you know this capitalist fool? This is an itch I've been waiting to scratch for 20 years. Ah! We must flee before we are discovered. Come on! Bullet! Enter my heart, fading fast. Wait, statue of the Minuteman, glowing, as if it were calling out to me. Power surging into me. Ah! I am growing younger, body bursting with strength. Feel like I could lift a thousand pounds. That statue must have been hit with some fantastic kind of energy, but it's fading. It must have completely transferred it into my body. I don't know what will come from all of this, but I must use these new powers to help my country fight her enemies within and without. Those Reds might have killed Frank Stiles, but they're about to meet a Minuteman. Donning a costume to protect his identity, Minuteman searches for the treacherous O'Connor. Perhaps that double-crosser left some clues in this park to his whereabouts. For Patriot City! That's enough! I give in. O'Connor is down for the count. You can interrogate him now. Time for a chat, my little red friend. Dead end, O'Connor. Time to face the music. Who are you? What do you want from me? Where did your pal go with the stolen documents? I don't know what you're talking about. It's a long way to the ground, O'Connor. You're all talk, Flagface. Stay back. Me or the street trader, you choose. Okay, okay. You'll find them down at the old Wilson Paper Warehouse on Benjamin Franklin Boulevard. You look tired, chum. Why not take a little nap? That was for Frank Stiles. 
Flush with his first victory, Minuteman heads downtown, unaware that he is watched all the while. He is coarse and untrained, but perhaps there is potential there. But potential for what? What mysterious plans are afoot for our hero? And who is this new mysterious figure on the scene? These are questions that time alone can answer. Following a tip from O'Connor, Minuteman pursues his communist quarry to an abandoned paper warehouse. Now to track down that pesky Ruski and find out what's what! And in the wings, a stranger stands, watching. Hmm, the human is promising. Perhaps he will fit my purpose. Best to avoid the guards. It's all over, Sukov. The inexperienced fool can't tell it's a trap. Got the least fool. O'Connor's men had warned me hours before you got here. Did you not think I was expecting you? Goodbye. See you in the next life. There's too many of them. I can't take them alone, even with my new powers. Stand aside, Earthling. His lips are sealed. Perhaps this mysterious stranger can get an answer from him. Who are you? I can sense one of these lackeys knows where Sukov has gone. Hey, pal. I like to know who I'm working with. There's no time. I must interrogate these felons. Use Mentor to interrogate this fallen thug. He has the power to read minds. Perhaps he can discern more than the Minuteman. By the, by the moons of Rachia, bear your mind to me. What? Huh? Sukov. Yeah, he went to a hideout. A factory on Liberty Lane. All right, stranger. Let's find us a cummy. Who is this odd-looking newcomer, and what mysteries does he hold for Minuteman? Find out these answers and more in the next issue of Freedom Force. And so, our perplexing pair arrive at the secret hideout of Sukov, the Soviet spy. And while Minuteman can't help but wonder what fate awaits him in the structure's concrete crevasses, he cannot help but wonder about the strange fellow beside him. Is he a newfound friend or fiendish foe? Sukov's in here somewhere. We've got to find him, and fast! I share your urgency. Let us not delay. That's gone far enough, Sukov. Look at you, draped in that hideous flag. You and it shall kneel before Sukov. Stand back, villain! Ah! Too much! I give in! No more May Day parades for you, pal! Perhaps we should interrogate him to find out exactly what he knows. Time for a chat! What are you up to with O'Connor? Exercise care. I sense he, like you, has been exposed to Energy X. Get away, running dog! Hold it right there! Beware! Missed! Ah! Liquid nitrogen! Freezing me! Intriguing. The Energy X is interacting with the liquid nitrogen. Energy what? Come. We must depart. Wait a minute, mister. There's no time, Frank Styles. We have much to discuss, but this is not the place. Observe. The minimal Energy X he has absorbed will allow him to survive the freezing process. And then our little experiment shall commence. The being known only as Mentor brings the Minuteman back to his newly established base of operations. A base that will soon become known to all the citizens of Patriot City as the Freedom Fortress. All right, Mentor. I need some answers. What is this place? I have established it as a base of operations. For whom? For us, Frank Styles. This planet you call Earth is in danger. 
Yes, I know. I'm ready to face the communist hordes. It's the reason I became Minuteman. But why are you here? These communists are not the threat I speak of. I will tell you of a race that was once great, but has been descended into villainy and wickedness. They are called the Domain, and they are ruled by a tyrant known only as Lord Dominion. As man took his first baby steps into the void of space, one question grew more and more important in the mind of humanity. Are we alone? A dreadful answer was now becoming clear. Glory to you, Lord Dominion. May all your conquests be merciless. Greater, how many dimensions have I conquered? Nearly all of them, my lord. Nearly all, except one. Look at that planet. Do you know what it's called? Earth. Earth. Why, they haven't even discovered that other dimensions exist yet. Can you imagine a planet so primitive? Lord Dominion, who is that? His name is Clubber Johnson. He sits on death row, awaiting execution for a triple murder. Do you know why he killed? For a $20 watch and some costume jewelry. Such small imaginations. What if we were not to destroy this planet Earth? You cannot be serious, my lord. That puny planet is the only thing that lies between you and utter control of the universe! You have little imagination, Lackey. I intend Earth to be destroyed, but it would amuse me if it were to destroy itself. But how can a planet destroy itself? We shall give them the power of Energy X. My lord! Have you gone mad? Give the Earthlings our secret weapon! Not all the Earthlings, you fool! Seek out the greediest, basest, and most corrupt of their number. To these wretches, we shall give power beyond their imagination. Make them stronger, smarter, and better than their fellow man. Earthling has killed Earthling since the dawn of time. Energy X will simply allow them to finish the job. They will destroy themselves utterly! I will put our scientists to work immediately! But the Warlord and his second-in-command were unaware that their conversation had been overheard. For in the darkness of the Imperial Chamber, there was a spy. If the Warlord destroys Earth, there shall be no dimensions left to stand up to his merciless regime. I must not allow it to happen. But how? He has an entire battle fleet, and I, the Mentor, alone dare oppose his dark plans. That's it. What if I were to steal the Energy X? I could travel to Earth and find worthy men and women to endow with its power. They could stand up to the monstrosities Lord Dominion intends to create. All I need is a spaceship and courage. Later. My starships prepare to cross the dimensional barrier itself to bring their deadly cargo to Earth. Your scheme is perfect, my lord. Nothing can stand in its way. The entire supply of Energy X is aboard this freighter. Mustn't let myself be seen. Hey, who's there? My lord! Somebody is hijacking the ship! You fool! Scramble the fleet! Stop him with your very lives! I'll have his corpse. Or yours. The mentor ship speeds away from the home planet, through the dimensional gate. Hot on its heels is a fleet of the Domain Starships, firing all the while. I've taken severe damage. I just need to get to Earth. They dare not follow me there and reveal their secret plot. At the last second, a lucky shot hits the rear stabilizer of the Mentor ship. It breaks apart over the Patriot City area and he's forced to eject. Canisters of Energy X land all across the thriving metropolis. That's quite a story, but I don't believe in aliens, spaceships, or Energy X. Then how do you explain your own powers? The statue that turns you into Minuteman. We'll need to maintain a keen observation for new superpower entities. Any activation of Energy X in this city will trigger an alarm on this device. But we have to wait until it's activated, by which time it could be too late. We shall not have to wait long, I fear. Hey, 
Equestrian okay. Park! But is that ice in July? That's impossible! Observe the awesome power of Energy X. You're making a believer out of me, Spaceman! To action! These gates are frozen solid! Allow me to break the ice! Stars and bars! The whole park is frozen over! Hmm... Sukov bore the mark of Energy X. Perhaps the liquid nitrogen... We best neutralize this threat! Ah! Help! You'll be neutralizing no one to Varich. Time to put you capitalist pigs on ice. You capitalist dogs will never stop us, for the master! I'll happily hit you! No more fun! I shall talk! Time for a conversation, Olga! We seek information regarding your master. Running dogs, your death awaits you at the pump house. Prepare for your doom, materialistic fools! Prepare for nuclear winter! We'll see about that! To the pump house! Go, my minions. Soon all Patriot City will be in my frozen grasp. Not so fast, Snowball. You do not recognize me, fools? Good golly! It's Sukov! Behold the transformative power of Energy X! <laughs> These capitalists will make excellent trophies for my Dacha. Prepare them for the journey to the motherland. Is that the end for Minuteman and his mysterious ally? Is there no one who can save the heroic duo? No one can save you now. Those meddling heroes are on their way to Moscow. Time for a little baked Alaska. Who? What? You can call me El Diablo. And you, Pequita, call me El Guapo. Ooh. A fiery newcomer. Perhaps he can free our freeze-dried heroes. Aye, pretty calls. A hero's work is never done. Thanks for the help, friend. Not so fast with that friend stuff. Who's behind the Winter Wonderland? A Russian spy who calls himself Nuclear Winter. Yeah, and who are you supposed to be? George Washington? Just another concerned citizen, friend. A citizen who knows that someone so powerful and brave would not stand idly by while the beautiful young women of this city are in peril. Ay, caramba, you really know how to hit a fellow where it hurts. Let's go melt us a snowman. On guard! I congratulate you, Earthling. You bear the mark of Energy X. Energy who? All will become clear. Nuclear winter awaits. Their simple minds reveal their secrets. The source of this frigid villainy is in the pump house. We must locate that building and destroy it. The break show! The fools have gotten free! Attack, comrades! More fighting. I shall talk. No more fighting. I shall talk. Where's Nuclear Winter? Prattle on, fool. The Master is escaping with the nuclear warhead as we speak. Nuclear warhead? Nobody said nothing about nuclear warheads. Of course! The fleet is in town! He could only have taken it from the aircraft carrier down at the docks! Let's move! What leads a young man who knows nothing but the barrios of the city to a life of heroism? The answer lies with... The origin of the fiery Latino, El Diablo! Gang war. Parents bring their children inside and roll down their shades. Tonight, El Diablos are ready for action. Ricardo, why are you going ahead with this foolish rumble? You'll all be killed. 
Bah! You are a woman and you cannot understand. The vipers have invaded our turf. As men, we must protect our barrio. You have never even been out of this neighborhood. The world is grand, Ricardo. Are you willing to die for your tiny barrio? Mm, tiny barrio. What does Estela know? Does she have no pride in her own neighborhood? Ay, caramba! Un rayo de la energía! Ah! My hands are on fire! I'm burning alive! Wait! The flame is not hurting me! I'm lifting up into the sky! La energía! It must have changed me! I have the power to control flame! Que milagro! The barrio looks so tiny from up here! Dios mío! Who knew the city was so big and so beautiful? You've never even been out of this neighborhood. The world is grand, Ricardo. Are you willing to die for your tiny barrio? Ay, Estela, I could not see what you saw until now. Where's Ricardo? Has your big leader left all you diablos to die? Stop! Why are we fighting each other? It's some kind of demon! No, you fool. It's Ricardo. Why are we fighting each other, my friends? I've been given these incredible powers for a reason. From this day on, I shall fight to bring us together. Such is the vow of El Diablo. The power of the atom. Can anything be more awesome, more terrifying? And when that power is in the hands of one as dastardly as nuclear winter, can there be any hope for mankind? What about those costumed Americans? Will they try to stop us? Yet. They're frozen solid. Just like their precious park. They were fools to try to stop me. Come on, team. We've got to stop nuclear winter for freedom! No, it can't be. Stop them, my chilly minions. I'll take this for safekeeping. Okay, I say, time to talk to the heroes. Where's your boss, Lackey? Ah, she ain't talking. Let me try. Open your mind to us. Share with us your secrets. Bold Comrade Vidra is headed to the pier, but you will never catch him. Blast! I can't see a thing! Halt! I'm picking up the thoughts of another. One like us. I've located the individual you are looking for. Who was that? What's going on? I've established a mental link between us and another Energy X-powered human nearby. He speaks in earnest. Yet this may be another trap. Exercise caution. Metallic form trapped in ice. Is it a machine or a man? My stars! This must be the one who was guiding us! Leave me! You've got to stop the Russian! Don't worry, senor. This won't take a moment. I was pursuing that suspicious character when he froze me on the spot. If you're here to stop that frigid fiend, you found an ally. And so the metallic mystery joins the hunt. But time is running out for the team, and Patriot City. Quickly, before those costume do good nicks arrive. Drive! Watch out, you fool! It's the ice! It's too slippery! Winter, you fool! That bomb isn't designed to take that sort of punishment! You are familiar with such a device? Sadly, yes, Mentor. For I served as a midwife at its birth. For freedom! For freedom! The clock's ticking! Let's move! 40 seconds. Oh. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, one. Time to pay the piper, Sukhoff. You win this round, but your pathetic democracy will one day freeze in the clutches of nuclear winter. Take him away, boys. Thanks for your help, stranger. What can we call you? Call me what you will. I live only to undo the harm I have done. I say we call him Manba. It's a fitting title, for my deeds have made me less than human. Thanks for the assist, but what's the name of this team of yours? You can call us Freedom Force. Freedom Force? Yes, Freedom Force. What say you all? Are we a team for freedom? For freedom! Who can say what secrets lie within the armored plating of our hero in a tin can? All will be revealed in the ominous origin of Manbot. Meet Ted Taylor, a man who inherited the looks and the money that won him the affections of every beautiful woman in Patriot City. How come Tom didn't want to come to the beach with us, Ted? Knowing my egghead brother, he's probably stuck in a lab somewhere, trying to save the world. Gosh, you'd think after winning the Nobel Prize, he'd take a break every now and then. Then, without warning... Eek! Ted, what's happening to you? Help! Help! What's happening to me? So much pain. What's wrong with me? Can feel the energy growing again. Must see Tom. He'll know what to do. Later. Your bot has been infused with some kind of mysterious power I've never come across. An energy X, if you will. Yeah, whatever, Poindexter. Get rid of it. It's not that simple, Ted. We're dealing with a force beyond our comprehension. However, I do have some good news. I designed this prototype suit to allow crippled people to walk. However, its molecular structure is such that I believe it would contain the massive energy until we can find a cure. How long do you want me to wear that tin can? We've got the finest minds in the world here, Ted. In a few months, I'm sure... A few months? You're out of your oversized mind, little brother. There's no way in heck I'm gonna... Uh, uh... What is it? Energy. Search. <laughs> Tom. Tom. Oh my god, what have I done? My brother only wanted to help me, and my vanity has taken his life. I will devote my life to finding a way to cure myself. Until that day, the world shall only know me as... The Manbot. Morning in Patriot City. People rushed to work and meshed in their everyday lives. But what does the man of the street make of our heroes? Only they could provide the answers. Freedom Force? Bah! I bet those mugs don't even exist! Freedom Force? I don't know what to think. But that El Diablo sure is dreamy. I know they're vigilantes, but with all the craziness lately, I'm happy those costumed cut-ups are on the job. God bless those good people. They're a menace, I tell you, a menace! Hey, we're happy for all the help we can get. Freedom Force? Why, they're the coolest thing ever! All my friends are jealous because I made my own fan club, and I'm the president, right guys? For freedom! Jeepers, there they are now! Where are you going, Nick? Where do you think, dummies? To watch Freedom Force in action! We can't let those bank robbers get away! Hey, fellas! I'm your biggest fan! Not now, lad. Come on, boys! Time they am scray! Manbot, you and Mentor see to the bank! Diablo, let's stop those crooks! Ay ay ay, never a dull moment with this bunch. I'll keep the team in contact through telepathy. Just think who you want to communicate with, and I'll transmit the message through their minds. Holy cow! Freedom Force in action! Wait till I tell the gang! We could use your help, Freedom Force. We've got the bad guys trapped in the bank, but I'm worried they're gonna try a getaway in that armored car. 
We'll take care of it, officer. Please. I warned you. Please. I warned you. Please. For the good of all. Please. Get away from our ride. Seems this wagon has its own welcome. Let's send it to the junkyard. What? Sorry, I have to do this. Who's going to try to fill the minds of opposition? You really shouldn't push me. Now those felons will find Exodus that much more difficult. They're getting away on foot. Not on my watch. We'll get them. And their ill-gotten gains. Yes. I gotta get out of here. No more. I'll squeal. No more. I'll squeal. No more. I'll squeal. Cribes! Captured by these do-gooders. What a revolt in development. Time to talk, lowlife. Where were you headed with the loot? Don't hurt me. You metal monster. I'll talk. We was gonna meet on top of the Starlight Cinema. The police will handle you now. Diablo, are you anywhere near the Starlight Cinema? I can be. What's up? Get there on the devil and take out the trash. You got it, mi amigo. Time to take in a movie. Hey, Diablo, take me along. Sorry, kid. It's not safe around here. Run along. Run along, but... Ugh, jeepers. Okay, wise guy, who are you working for? Pinstripe would kill me if I told you. Why do you guys always make it so easy? Tell me about this pinstripe. You ain't getting nothing out of me, hot stuff. Sheesh, is it getting warm up here? All right, cool it. He always meets at Napoli's. You'll find him there. Catch that, Minute Man? Sure did, Diablo. Time to say hello to this pinstripe fellow. Well, well, looks like it's you and me. <sighs> Get him, Minuteman! Stay back, lad! This is no schoolyard escapade! Pinstripe, eh? Make this easy on yourself and come along peacefully! I ain't got time for this. Ventilate the stool gun. Minuteman, look out! No! <sighs> I won't let this boy die! What's going on? He needs medical attention! Now! Oh, he needs a medical attention! Oh, I'm so broken hearted, I think I'm gonna cry. That's what you get for hanging out with the wrong crowd, kid. You'll pay for this fella. Stay calm, Minute Man. We've got to deal with Pinstripe and then help the boy. Soup song. Or just. Blast! Out of ammo. This ain't over, creeps. Not by a long shot. You can go after me, heroes, or you can save the brat. Get him, guys. Uh. We're running out of time. Please. How's the kid? Either he gets an immediate transfusion, or his blood will be on my hands. While Nick Craft hangs on the brink of the abyss, we turn our attention to another part of the city and some new faces. Halt! You shan't be walking away from here with that, lad. Who are you two supposed to be? A magic act? You'd better watch what you say to Man o' War and his scintillating sidekick, the stupendous sea urchin. That'll do, Lashy. Now just drop the money and we'll take you in nice and friendly like. Come and get me, do gooders! Why did you have to say that? Do you really want a row with one who can control the very water itself? And now for the Coop de Gracie! Oh, shucks. Everybody's gone all heroic. Come on, man of war. This solo stuff is for the birds. We got to join Freedom Force. That's no place for a wee one like you. We've tumbled with common crooks. They're fighting super villains. Where is your sense of adventure? It went down with me fishing boat. Fine. Then I'll join them myself, with or without you. You'll do no such thing. It's too dangerous. You'll get yourself killed. Aye. But your mind's made up, isn't it? Very well. We'll join this freedom force. But I know I'll regret it. Thanks, Man of War. You're the greatest.
They say the sea is a harsh mistress. How true this is for fisherman Hank Waters. I'm gonna miss this boat, but the fish just haven't been jumping. Once we reach Boston, I'll have to turn the old man of war over to the bank. If only there was another way. A noise from on deck. A stowaway? Get out from under there, lass. Don't hurt me, mister. I just needed a lift to Boston. You young fool. There's a storm a-brewing. I'll deal with you later. I can help you. I, I know how to sail. Get below decks. Now! The storm threatens to tear the man of war apart, but Hank Waters uses all of his nautical skill to keep her afloat. However, the brave captain didn't have time to lash himself to the deck. He's fallen overboard! I'll help you, mister! Get below, you fool! Fighting the fury of the sea, the young girl reaches out for the drowning seaman. Suddenly, a bizarre bolt of energy strikes her with a power she's never known. She redoubles her efforts and grasps the captain's hand. How did you pull me aboard like that? A wee lash like you doesn't have the strength. What's wrong with your hand? You've grown some kind of strange webbing. Get down, girl! Hey? Wow, mister! You froze the wave right where it stood! That's impossible! It must have something to do with that beam of energy. I must have passed it into your body when I pulled you on board. The waves obey my every command! Realizing they must adapt to their new powers, the pair vow to use their powers for good. Hank Waters may have lost his boat, but the world's about to meet the new Man of War! And don't forget a sidekick, the Sea Urchin! Was the transfusion in time? Did my blood save him? That transfusion was dangerous, Minuteman. Energy X attunes itself to the host upon activation. Nick has received energy attuned to your body. The result? I cannot know. I can't believe he nearly gave his life for me! This isn't what I signed up for, Mentor! None of us signed up for anything. I have left my home planet and may never return. And now, I must spend the rest of eternity in exile amongst simple primates who have never even traveled the stars. He's right. I don't know the meaning of sacrifice. Not like Mentor and that poor, brave lad. Stop right there, senor. You've already saved Patriot City from a nuclear holocaust. Don't be so down on yourself, mi amigo. I didn't mean for you to see this. I... We're getting a reading of Energy X activity down at Ben Franklin Park. Looks serious. You stay here with El Nino. I'll get a team together. Mentors established the telepathic link, so I'll monitor your actions from here. Do you see anything? Not yet, I mean... Madre de Dios, it's... I mean... What's going on down there? Remind me to get my head examined. Ah! Que niña mas bonita! What a beauty! And with superpowers to boot! Well, what are you waiting for? Let's move! Mercy! I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't arrived. How can I ever repay you? Well, perhaps a kiss would suffice. Keep your shirt on, Romeo. You're lucky I didn't let those dinosaurs turn you into a shish kebab. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to close these portals. Portals? What are you talking about? Perhaps it's escaped your notice, but those portals keep popping out overgrown lizards. And unless you want to become lunch, I'd suggest you cover me while I close them portals. Hot stuff, this is really Thank you, Freedom Force. That should do it, boys. With all those raptors banished, we should be able to close the portal. Okay, portal. It's just you and me. Ha! Chalk up another one for the alchemists. Madre de Dios! One Dino Burger, well done. Well, I did it. I knew I could. Well done, team. And thank you, Alchemists. It wouldn't have been possible without you. Yeah, it's good to have you on the team. What makes you think I want to join up with you? Hey, you couldn't have done this without us, and you know it. 
Why, you overgrown Bunsen burner? What's happened? It must be temporal feedback from the portals. Get her to the base for treatment. Quickly! Alchemist. A sassy southern belle with the powers of the goddess. Where on earth could such a beauty come from? Catherine Larchmont Price, the most popular and beautiful girl at City University. Hey, Catherine, how about a date? Hey, gorgeous, wait up. What a knockout. Come on, doll face. Won't you let me take you out tonight? I'd love to, boys, but my allergies are killing me. What could a sweet thing like you be allergic to? Me. Oh, oh come on, darling. A wise goddess of the east, help me see the way. Guide me to righteousness, lead me out of darkness. Oh, wise goddess of the east, help me see the way. Why is my roommate the most unpopular girl in school? Laugh if you will, roommate, but the goddess is as old as time herself. Why, Emily, that goddess of yours must look a horrible fright. Have a care, Catherine. You want powers you do not understand. Later that night. That silly goose. If she thought less about the goddess and more about the homecoming dance, she wouldn't be such a awful bore. Suddenly, a strange light enters Catherine's room. Or perhaps just her dreams, and in its purple glow, the image of the goddess appears. My spirit is entering yours, foolish girl. Like an alchemist converts base metals into gold, you will use my powers to convert wrong into right. What? What a bizarre dream. How did that revolting statue end up in my hands? And why is it glowing so horribly? Who could that be? It's nearly three in the morning. You again? My goodness. You smell as if you've just come from some degenerate roadhouse. Hey, sweetheart, I just wanted a little kiss goodnight. You're hurting me! Now, don't be like that, darling. Unhand me! Oh my! I foolishly believed the goddess was just so much nonsense. But it was her powers that protected me from that revolting brute. She told me I should convert wrong into right. Such will be the work of the alchemist. How's the lad? Fighting fit and ready for action. Let's go beat up some bad guys. You're not going anywhere, son. Son? Who are you calling son? I took a bullet for... Ugh. Where am I? You're in the Freedom Fortress. Are you okay? I've been better. Be alert, Freedom Force. There's a chain of earthquakes hitting the business district. We had best assemble a strike team. Are you with us, Alchemist? Earthquakes? I've got a final tomorrow. Okay, count me in. Seems quiet. Too quiet. I don't see no earthquake. <gasps> Madre de Dios! Somebody get a can of bug spray! These ants have grown to enormous size. One would infer that this somehow involves Energy X. These giant ants are stealing what they can grab and destroying what they can't. Patriot City is being stripped bare. We must discover where they are taking the stolen items. Here they come. These giant anthills can only be entrances to their subterranean passages. Quickly, team, destroy them! What could these bizarre creatures want? Ha! Or just... One more anthole out of business. How many more can there be? My sensors only indicate four major sources of seismic disturbance. I would surmise that you only have one more wave to contend with. Oh, let's go, team! Reminds me of a picnic I once had. That looks like the last of them. Sensors would indicate you have got them all. All right, let's go home. Rings of Rexor, return to base. We are under attack. The Freedom Fortress, a glowing symbol of heroism and righteous might. What cowardly foe would seek to destroy it? What foe indeed? I don't believe this. They've trashed the joint. Where's Nick? He's here. 
Now there you go, Pumpkin. Are you hurt? Just my pride. If only there were a few less of those pesky ants. Where are they, lad? They took off through a tunnel in the basement. I'll go. My armor will protect me from cave-ins. Attach this to your armor, man-bot. It feeds your own surplus of Energy X in order to boost our telepathy. You'll need it to travel so deep and retain communication. All right, you have fun. Don't forget to write. What's the matter, Hotshot? I don't much like those things. Creepy crawly. Well, I'm perfectly happy to take your place in line. After all, who's afraid of a few little bugs? So you're with us? I don't much care for uninvited guests. Especially when they don't clean up after themselves. I guess I am. Let's go, team. Time to pay those ants a house call. Hey, amigo. Sorry I'm missing all the fun. How far down this corridor have we come? Go couple of miles at least, but I think we're approaching the source of the earthquakes. Phew. Those tunnels don't look too stable. Hey man bud, you're not claustrophobic or anything, are you? In this suit? <laughs> that would be ironic. Looks like the passage is blocked. You'll have to smash your way through. Well, if I'm good at anything, it's destruction. Good gravy! There's an entire civilization down here! Someone just popped up on the scanners! Get out of here, bud! I, I can't guarantee your safety! I just want to talk! I'm not in the listening mood! My mistress, Shadow, has no patience for the likes of you! He's burrowed into the ground! Looks like he summoned more of his vatos, too! Time for a sound beating, chumps. I don't like ants, fella. I don't like walking garbage cans, so we're even. Take hey, this medicine. Here comes Stand trouble. Back, Billy. Ooh, I'm out of here. Or Take justice. This. There's something odd about that man. You mean other than the fact that he's trying to kill you? <laughs> yeah, I guess you'd be getting used to that by now. I sense a reluctance in him. It could be fear. But perhaps it's something else. Or... Why didn't you run when you had the chance? I tried to warn you. Now it's too late. She's coming. Is there any end to these things? Well, they can't have an unlimited supply, can they? Or pay Sorry, I'm ah, ah, No more. I know when I'm beat. I guess this is what happens when you send a boy to do a woman's job. I... I tried to scare them off like you said, but... No excuses. I shan't waste the time of my hideous minions on the likes of these. Have your ads destroy them! But... Unless you've tired of the pleasures of my company. Of course, mistress. Kill them! Kill them all! <laughs> Kill them? I, I can't. I, I mean, I won't. I'll just get rid of them. Then everything... I wasn't aware that I'd authorized you to think, boy. Ah! My... I... can't... won't... I... will not... kill them! No! The mind control drug must be wearing off! But I gave him a triple dose! You forget. I've got the metabolism of an ant. And though I'd really like a girlfriend, I'd prefer one who wasn't a homicidal maniac. Curse you, fool! You don't know what you've done! Who are you people? We're a freedom force, but the real question is, who are you? And why are we working for Shadow? I was out of my head. She controlled me with some strange drug. Well, you have the chance to redeem yourself. You can prove you're with us by telling us where Shadow went. We've all done things we regret. 
tell you where she went. I can do better than that. I can take you there. Who is this strange young man who can burrow into the very earth? What forces shaped this young mind, now free of Shadow's diabolical will to help the forces of good? Observe John Miller. You will find one like him in every high school. The boy who doesn't fit in. Wow, these ants are incredibly strong. One alone can carry a creature many times its weight. Sadly, the lad's observations don't also apply to young boys. Mind if I step in, Miller? Hey, they didn't hurt you any. They're pests, Miller. Just like you. Ha, huh, push them into old man Smith's yard. Yeah, stomp him, Rex. Ah, uh, he's just a little ant. Not even worth stepping on. I'll show them one day. They can't get away with picking on the little guys. Beam of energy coming towards me. Oh, what's happening to me? Suddenly, Old Man Smith's attack dog comes running towards the dazed youth. Ah, uh, gotta get out of here right now. What happened? I burrowed a hole into the ground like it was oatmeal. No time to worry about that now. Here comes Rex and his gang. Whoa, now that's what I call a getaway. My hands stuck to the wall as if they had suction cups on them. Those goons didn't even catch sight of me. I can burrow, climb walls, and I've been given incredible strength and agility. It must be the ants. Somehow, that beam of energy has imbued me with their abilities. Oh no, Rex and his gang are going into Pop's candy store. Hey, let's have some fun with that old coot. It's time somebody stuck up for the little guy. Why can't you punks leave me alone? Take what you want, boys. This chump can't stop us. He can't. <gasps> but maybe I can. How do you like it? Maybe next time you'll think twice before you treat people like ants. Donning a costume, John Miller becomes a protector of all things great and small, known only as the Ant. The Ant leads Freedom Force deeper underground to a mysterious destination. But can the ant be trusted? And just who exactly is his former mistress? Dig, my ants. Burrow through to the Shadow's lair. So you say that Shadow has been turning innocent civilians into these hideous minions of hers. But why does she make them so ugly? I don't know, but she's got some serious issues about looks. I can't believe you're going to trust this guy. It's got to be a trap. Everyone deserves a second chance, Diablo. Even the chronically claustrophobic. I didn't survive the barrio by walking into no death traps. Not to worry. We'll keep an eye on our insectile friend. Clear. Hold on a second. Anything you want to be telling us before we charge on in there? Shadow will know we're coming. There's normally no tunnel through here. No tunnel? How does she get around? She can phase through the solid rock, as can her minions. She could attack at any time. We'll catch her if I have to blast my way through. I don't much care for these cramped quarters. Give me the grand open sea any day. Be careful. I want you all home safe. Stop right there, Shadow. I don't take orders from children, Ant Boy. Destroy them, my disfigured Shadow Dwellers. All right, fellas. It's time to take Shadow on in her home court. Leave me and my hideous minions alone to live unseen in our shadowy paradise. She never let me see her face, and now I think I know why. Only I and my dark men can understand the torment of being ugly. No, not this time. Let's get her. Beauty creatures, stop! I hate doing this. The mistress! Beauty face must die! Look out! They're coming up behind you two! You'll be trapped! 
I've got my suspicions about Old Shadow here. Let's see what's under the mask. I knew it! She's not ugly. In fact, she's Amber Autumn, the famous fashion model. Once, maybe. Until this hideous scar deformed me. I've been remaking people in my image. Scarred. Disfigured. I'll make the whole world ugly if I have to. But that scar is nothing. You can barely see it. You're gorgeous. No, I'm hideous. Hideous! Mistress Beautiful! Mistress Lie! Beauty is pain! Death to beauty! Death to beauty! Death to beauty! Stay back! Stay back! No! Get out of there! Is that what passes for evil on that pathetic planet? An insecure girl and a horde of ugly misfits? Enjoy your victory, Freedom Force, because you've just seen the tip of the iceberg. Soon you will see the face of true evil, and then you will meet your doom. A quiet afternoon in the Freedom Force base. Yet still, the forces of the Domain work against the Earth. Can rest ever come for the truly vigilant? Look at this letter we've received, Minuteman. More fan mail? Not this time. It is a warning of a crime that is about to take place. Involving Pinstripe. Time to teach that crook a lesson. Look carefully. This was left with a legal firm 20 years ago. What? That's impossible! Clearly, it is very possible. But how could anyone even know Pinstripe would exist 20 years ago? Did somebody say Pinstripe? Apparently so. What's with the get-up, lad? It's my costume! I'm coming with you! <laughs> Sorry, lad. This isn't a game for children. Well, this child saved your bacon, Minuteman. You gave me these powers. Listen, Nick. The team will be heading into the center of Pinstripe's territory. The place will be swarming with his thugs. You can't stop me going with them. I can and I will. Leave Pinstripe to the others. Let's get the team together. Nick, you stay here with me. That's what you think. This isn't going to be easy. Even ignoring the fact that this whole tip-off business is suspicious, Pinstripe could be anywhere. Can't believe we managed to hijack a whole truckload of colored televisions. The boss is going to be happy with us. Yep. We'd better report in and let them know what a haul we got. It's going to take the boys all night to unload. Report in, eh? I guess it's time for Liberty Lad to show what he's made of. Let's start the ball rolling by asking these thugs some questions. What was that? Hey, it's one of those Freedom Force guys. Wait, the... How do you like that? No more! I'll squeal! Okay, wise guy. Time to tell me where Pinstripe is. I don't know. One of his trucks is doing the rounds now. But I don't know where. Try Vinny. He's down at 28th Street. Collecting donations. You know, it's getting harder to look the other way with all the heists you guys are pulling. What's the matter? Money not good enough? Don't worry, the new boss is gonna look after you. Nothing stinks worse than crooked cops. Who's that kid? Get him! Liberty! I give up! I'll talk! Done in by a runt. Now you'll see how the other half lives behind bars. Oh, lay off, kid. I'm just a cop trying to turn a buck. But I can help you. Listen, if you go to Homer's Electronics, you'll be able to catch them in the act. Quit the force tonight, or tomorrow the whole world will know about you and your new friends. Thank you, son. If it wasn't for you, Pinstripe's boys would have made a mess of my store. Not to mention my face. Pinstripe's boys? And that's his truck! I bet I can sneak on there and get all the way back to his base! 
looks like Liberty Lad is leading the way. To think Minuteman thought I wasn't up to the job. Well, time to get the boys to start unloading our wares. I can't wait to see their faces when they see this haul. Gee whiz, I landed smack dab in Pinstripe's hideout. Liberty lad to Freedom Force, Liberty lad to Freedom Force. Minute man here, what is it Nick? I'm right in the middle of Pinstripe's lair, follow my signal in. Nick, what do you think you're doing? You disobeyed a direct order. But well done, nonetheless. Don't move, the rest of the team is on its way. Hey, I heard something. Who's that up there? Cripes! Now I'm in for it. Hold fast, brave little chum. We'll take care of this. Uh-oh! It's more of those super goons! That's right, cowards. It's time to feel the might of order. And the right of law. Ah! Gee whiz! Are you two people or one? We are one but two, young man. But you have nothing to fear from us. Liberty Lad, Mentor has re-established the Psychic Link, so we need not worry about such things again. Uh, I'm alright. Law and Order helped me out of a tight spot. Well, then we owe you our thanks. Don't mention it. Seems to us we've got a common goal. Pinstripe awaits, yet he's far too cowardly to come out and fight. Alright, son. You've earned the right to join the team. But I'll be keeping an eye on you. I suspect that we can bait him into a confrontation by destroying these warehouses full of stolen goods and illicit arms. Well, let's get moving. If that's what it takes to raise him, by golly, we'll show him! For justice! Well, Pinstripe, we meet again. You've got some explaining to do, downtown. You've been making a mess of my establishment, and Pinstripe don't take that from no one. You punks are going down! Pinstripe, this time we won't be so easy on you. Tarnation and Tommy guns. I should have wasted you when I had the chance. This is for your taste in clothing. Ah, blow it out, you corn pipe. The tide of battle has favored Freedom Force this day. But what is this? An interloper has decided to tip the scales against our heroes? Suddenly, shimmering in the air, a strange portal opens up, and through it steps a most unusual figure. Temporal distortion detected. Current location, United States, circa 1962. What the? Who invited the rust bucket? Assessing situation. Human targets acquired. Extermination program initiated. Life certainly has gotten strange. Still, we got what we came for. Pinstripe is gonna face the scales of justice. Liberty Lad, that robotic enemy could be of some use. We'd better bring it back to the Freedom Fortress so we can run the scanners over it. Sure thing, Minuteman. Law and order. Thanks again for saving my bacon. Think nothing of it. And should the need arise for our services in the future, feel free to call on us at any time. Gee willikers! Extra, extra! Read all about it! Judgment Day for Scrambled Eggs Carbone! Easy does it, Judge Wilson. You're no kid anymore, and the city is counting on you. Oh, you mustn't baby me so, dear Sarah. I'll get spoiled. I'm just worried about you, with all the death threats and all. I can handle myself, my dear assistant. Now, let me get some sleep, or there won't be a trial. Oh, excuse me. Excuse yourself, missy! What a rude little man. Uh, 
Hey, you dropped your wallet. Mister? Mister? Pinstripe? Why, that's the mob boss's right-hand man. What can he be doing here? Oh, no. Judge Wilson's car. He must... Judge, look out! Ah! Later. I'm sorry, Sarah. I don't believe you'll ever see again. <sighs> I got off lucky. Poor Judge Wilson. <laughs> Determined to bring the full weight of the law against the men who killed her beloved boss, Sarah is put into the Witness Protection Program. Listen, Samson, you're just a rookie, so I'll keep this simple. If this skirt's gonna testify, she's gonna go down at midnight tonight. I don't want your money, lowlife. Tell your story walking. Listen, lady, the whole force is on the take, and these guys mean to put you six feet under. I can't ask you to stay, officer, but I have to do what I have to do. As midnight approaches, Officer Samson is faced with a horrendous decision. Abandon his sworn duty, or face certain death at the hands of the mob. I can't help you. I'm sorry. I I've got to go. I've got to go. Okay, little bird. Time to learn the price of singing. You can do what you want to me, but you won't escape law and order. Huh? In this town? Keep dreaming. Ah! Murderers, get away from her. <laughs> the blind fool fell off the balcony. Sarah, you're all right. Here, let me help you up. You came back. I knew you wouldn't leave me. I abandoned my post once. I won't do it again, no matter what the cost. Suddenly, a bolt of pure Energy X slams into the doomed pair. The two disappear before the mobster's eyes. Kill him! What is this? Another startling transformation brought on by Energy X. What is that? Look out! Frankie! Frankie, help! Who are you? What happened to the frail? There are no frails here, friend. We won't rest until you and your bosses flee Patriot City with your tails between your legs. For where there is law... There is order. And so, another pair of heroes joins the battle against evil in Patriot City. But will they join the Freedom Force? With every victory, Freedom Force grows in prestige and in numbers. Now the team has its sights set on yet another candidate. One who has made a name for himself by fighting crime both here and abroad. Hey buddy, what's the rush? I don't much care for being spied on. Why don't you come out here where old Dwight Arrow can see you? I come as a friend, Dwight. Then why don't you just leave as one too? Bullet! What did you call me? Must be difficult to walk so slowly when you know you can move so fast. You want to make something of it, stranger? No, Bullet. We just want you on the team. Here's how to reach us. And be quick about it, Bullet. Well, I'll be. They say that some men are born to be fighter jocks. One such man is Major Dwight Arrow, United States Air Force. Hee hee ow! Oh, let's see what this sucker can do! Jeepers, that Arrow is one crazy hotshot. When's he gonna learn to slow down? I thought they told me this sucker was fast. <laughs> it's already wheezing and I'm still under Mach 2. But as Arrow zipped towards his target in North Vietnam, even he couldn't be prepared for what happened next. Giant jumping Christmas trees! Some kind of burst of energy! Must be some new fangled Viet Cong super weapon. I'm losing control of her. Time to hit the silk. Best make myself scarce. This place most likely crawling with them reds. Death to the running dog. Huh? How'd I manage that? I'm avoiding their bullets. Woohoohoo! I'm moving faster than hog at supper time. Coming through, boys. Suddenly, a Viet Cong helicopter appears. Uh-oh, it looks like it's hunting season, and I'm the target. I reckon if I run in circles fast enough, I could create a mini tornado. Just like the good old days in Oskogee. Ah, he's some kind of monster. Destroy him. Best be fast on my feet. Good golly, I'm outrunning their bullets. 
Uh-oh, hits the ocean, and I'm running too fast to stop. Woohoo! Looks like I'm taking up surfing. That strange ray of energy must have boosted me up to super speed. Guess it beats walking. And so Dwight Arrow, the fastest man in the sky, became the bullet, the fastest man on Earth. This robot you fought appears very advanced. One can surmise it must be from some future time. Whoa, that's neat! To the contrary, I find it rather unsettling. I've used my advanced knowledge to modify its behavioral circuits. So now he's gonna behave like a gentleman? Something to that effect. Your base is primitive, yet functional. Hey, who you calling primitive? Quiet down, Diablo. We're getting some reports in. By the goddess! Ha! You fools! I'll teach you to put your trust in a bunch of costumed phonies! Talk about separated at birth. Somebody's ripping off your act! There are energy X blips appearing all over the city! Come on, team! It's time to unmask this impersonator! Well, lad, what are you waiting for? Who, me? Well, you are part of the team, aren't you? All right! For freedom! You okay, boss? I don't much like copycats. Perhaps these gentlemen will be kind enough to offer us some information. Minute Man! Boy, am I glad you're here! Time to bust up that jewelry store! You've mistaken the genuine article for the cheap imitation, hoodlum! Ah, oh, Christ! It's the wrong one! Here's the last of the stolen loot! Drop that right there! Your crime spree is over, Minute Man. You've been busted red-handed. Why, what are you talking about? I'm innocent! Hey, that's a new one. Hands up, you costumed convict. Minute Man, you can't go with them. I must. If we are above the law, lad, what right do we have to fight crime? It's the only way, son. All right, all right. Tell it to the judge. Oh, uh, Minuteman, where are you? Minuteman got pinched for bank robbery. The whole world's gone bonkers. That's funny, because right now I'm watching Tall, Blue, and Handsome hold up a jewelry store. Jeepers, it looks like the only way to clear Minuteman is to capture that cheap imitation. Come on, boys, let's clear this place out. All right, copycat, it's time to face the music. It's freedom farce! Go get them, boys! Eat my dust, suckers! <laughs> Quick, boys, let's teach this mob a lesson! Here comes Chuck! Let that be a lesson to you! This won't stop us, you do-gooder ninnies! Hey, at least we come up with our own costumes! You better get down to the police station with that chump and clear our fearless leader, Nick. What's going on here? Goddess, what a mess! Policeman fighting policeman! Help us! We're under attack by... by the police! Alright, team. We've got to sort out the blue from the bad. Who's the good guy and who's the jerk? Well... One way or another, I'm getting some answers. Freedom Force. Some creep calling himself Deja Vu steps into the station. Next thing we know, there's these strange evil cops just popping out of the woodwork. Why have one when you can have two? Time for you to meet Deja Vu! Deja Vu? I'd remember if I'd seen this bit before. Your, your memories are not at fault! Let's begin the clone's assault! Cloning? I bet a Georgia peach that this rat's behind Minuteman's frame. That's enough for me. Have at him, team! 
no more! I'm ready to get on the storm! And, and you fools, I bid at you! But I leave you one last clue! Stop it! Where's M.M.? Your fearless leaders, safe and sound, and hidden high, not underground. In the middle there you'll see the answer to your mystery. It's all been a lovely lark, but now I'm heading to the... <laughs> if you hurt him... Ha, sugar. We've got bigger catfish to fry. Do you think Minuteman's okay? That boy can take care of himself. Any idea where we might find Blue Boy? If I knew, I'd be there. Sorry, Diablo. I know you're just trying to help. Hey, hold the phone. Deja Vu said, It's all been a lovely lark. Now I'm heading to the... That's gotta be a clue. That mirror image moron only speaks in... Hey, what rhymes with lark? Ah, uh, bark, dark, Joan of Arc. Park! That's it! He's got the boss in the park. I'm scanning the park. We're getting a really weak Energy X signal. More accurately, a few really weak signals. I'm on it. Let's go, team. Who made that kid boss? Diablo, less crying, more flying. Okay, time to get Minuteman back. Okay, Minuteman, I'll have you out in a jiffy. I've got your leader in a bind. My prisoner for all of time. He won't come out unless you find four stunning stanzas of my rhyme. I did it! Minuteman! What happened to you? No time for that, kiddo. We've got deja vu to deal with. And I can lead you right to him. Kiddo? Well, I guess. Let's get going, then. Deja vu this away! Freedom Force, crush them! Minute Man, what's going on? Suddenly, the appearance of a beautiful woman stops young Nick in his tracks. She is the most gorgeous creature he has ever laid eyes on. Child, beware. He's a clone. Put a sock in it, Mother Nature! I knew it! Get your own act, ugly! I'm all right. Your friend is there, inside a statue and frozen in place. We must rescue him. Go! Thanks, lady. Let's get Minuteman! Time for some Burn it up. Minuteman! Or are you? Got to stop Deja Vu! He's... Ugh. Freedom Fortress, get the Freedom Flyer down here. I've got Minuteman and a new friend to boot. You found your friend, you're full of cheer. You're the heroes of the year. But you won't be smiling anymore when you see what I have in store. Who is this child of nature, this miracle of the earth? Even Eve herself knows not, but her heart is pure and her powers great. And that's enough for Freedom Force. The crowd stops and stares. Who is that? Says one. Hey, what's going on? Says another. A strange sight indeed has walked out of Patriot Park today. Hello. Well, hey, I never... check out Tall Dark and Naked. What's the world coming to? Where does she come from? What does she want? The beauty has no answers, except for a kind smile. All right, little lady. Halloween was six months ago. I'm gonna have to take you in. What? What are you doing? Uh, well, I guess I can let it go this time. Just make sure it doesn't happen again. Give me that, you old bag! Ah, thief! Thief! Somebody stop it! <laughs> the mysterious woman brings the purloined purse back to the terrified old woman. The crowd steps out of the strange woman's way. Are they afraid or in awe? I think this is yours. Why, thank you, young lady. What do they call you, dear? They call me Eve. And with that, this bizarre beauty turns and walks away. However, no one in the crowd doubts that they'll be seeing her again.
there's no time to waste. City University is in considerable danger. You are in pain. I don't have time for that. Those college kids are in serious trouble. I overheard Deja Vu's plans. Kids? Hmm. What kind of trouble? I don't know for sure, but if Deja Vu is involved, it can't be good. Manbot, I'm sorry, friend, but I'm uncomfortable with someone of your powers around all those youngsters. He's a member of this team, just like anybody else, Boy Scout. No, he's right. I'm a menace. I'll stay behind and monitor the situation. We've got to save those poor children. Make haste. Who invited Mother Nature? I don't know, but I like her taste in clothing. Men, they're all the same. Except you, Tin Man. You're different, aren't you? You're no talk in all action. Two qualities I lack in a man. You don't want to know me, Alchemist. I'm bad news. Mmm, I like bad news. Maybe after this mission we can go out for a can of oil. I'll take that as a maybe. Land outside the gates and stay sharp. While I was in Deja Vu's clutches, I overheard him muttering about his plans for some super-sized cloning beam. If he's managed to build it, there's no telling how many people he'll have duplicated. I feel the presence of deviant creatures. Nature herself is outraged. Keep your attacks controlled. We don't want to harm any innocents. And be careful of the main building. It looks like he has the whole faculty hostage in there. You are a clone. An offense to nature. Looks like my worst fears are confirmed. He's built an enormous version of his cloning beam. Stay sharp. A device that size must have incredible range. If he can see us, he can hit us. My glorious ray will win the day. <laughs> Take that. Here comes trouble. Right, right, makes might. Sucker. How do you like them? Two victories. My machine is crushed, and you're to blame, so now I'll cause you lots of pain! I want to be friends! Our fences to mend! You're a foul corruption of nature, Deja Vu! Freedom Force has brought an end to all this cloning chaos! You've won the battle, but not the war! Wait till you see what we have in store! <laughs> Nature's bounty. Where did Deja Vu go? My scans indicate that he disappeared through some kind of temporal portal. Rings of Resnor! The portal originated 10,000 years in the future! Rampaging dinosaurs, temporal portals. What man or beast has the power to play with time itself? And what malevolent plan do they have for Freedom Force? Meanwhile, somewhere lost in time. Look at this city! Like a child's playset! The fools have no imagination! How they will worship me once I, Mr. Mechanical, build things properly! You've a lofty opinion of your talents, Mechanical. Scoff if you will. I'm only helping you for my art. Do you have what you promised? I'll have everything you requested ready. Yesterday! <laughs> Yesterday? You've a dry wit for a lunatic. I just hope you can deliver. I'll take your abuse, fool, because you serve my purpose, and one day your vulgar mouth, as well as the rest of the universe, will simply cease to exist. So says the Time Master! Mr. Mechanical? Time Master? 
Who are these new forbidding faces? And what do they have in store for Patriot City and Freedom Force? If only these brave heroes knew what sinister minds plotted their very destinies. Slow day. I've already done my nails and washed my hair. What's up with Tree Lady? She is gravely disturbed by the unnatural nature of Deja Vu's clones. Her connection to the natural order of things is profound and complex. Well, boo-hoo. If I recall, these were the self-same clones that were trying to turn us into Super Hamburger. The Domain is certainly not going to be stopped this easily. We've only seen the very beginnings of their might. I the Domain again! Are these muchachos as scary as you say, Mentor? Diablo, I hope you never have to find out. But we were once a brave and noble race, until Lord Dominion came along. But that time is forever past. And now I, alone in exile, stand against my own people. And to think I was in a good mood a minute ago. Action stations team, the city's under attack. Destruction sequence initialized. <gasps> Giant robots. I'm going back to the barrier where it's safe. Destruction sequence initialized. Target Patriot City. Help! Who will save us? Exercise caution. These robots are not a product of Energy X. Hmm. These contraptions are incredibly advanced. I wonder what my brother would make of them. I suspect there is some human mind controlling them. Find their leader if you can. Now I do these crush the city! Make them pay for their hideous designs! You are all talk mechanical. From one metal man to another, you're all washed up. All the robots must be stopped, Freedom Force. Try as you will, you will never hold back a rampaging robot of Mr. Mechanical! This Mr. Mechanical has some extraordinary technology. He's managed to tap into our telepathic link. Perhaps Lord Dominion is somehow behind this. Observe my beautiful robots! The perfect marriage of, marriage of form and function! Take that! Justice. 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 If it comes down, there's no telling what destruction it will cause. I'll have the building evacuated. We must stop Mechanical or deal with the consequences. Central City Tower detected. New initiative, destruction. Observe the obvious symmetry. Marvel at the amateurish flourishes. Its very existence is an insult to the brilliance of our master. He's built his own cheering section. This is no time for levity, man-bot. The plaza is at stake. Fools! You think you've beaten me? You couldn't be more deceived! <laughs> Mechanical is redeploying his forces to the top of the plaza. You must stop him, Freedom Force, at all costs. The statues of the Founding Fathers on top of that building are a national monument. Quickly, my robotic rebels! Annihilate this edifice! Destroy the symbol of freedom! Wait a minute. I recognize your voice. You're Clyde DeWitt. You built the infamous Smith Museum building, didn't you? What of it? 
My family, I mean an acquaintance of mine, helped fund that. You were laughed out of town when it collapsed after only a week. How dare you! It was sabotaged by jealous ingrates like you! The only saboteurs I see here are your robots, coward. Why don't you show your face? You mustn't let him destroy the statues of the city's founding fathers or the central spire. They are a national monument. Defend them. And box one. Man bought to mentor. Mission succeeded. And that coward never even showed his face. I have established a psychic lock on him, which will allow us to track him to his lair. But I must admit, this individual troubles me. Mentor, what is it? Brain scan. My Lord Dominion, Battle Fleet must be within twelve parsecs. We must prepare ourselves. Lord Dominion and his army are preparing to invade. It has been written that all men must face their demons. Now is the time for Mentor to face his. The Domain Battle Fleet, en route to rain destruction on the Earth. The meaning of the psychic beam is clear. The Battle Fleet will arrive within a matter of days. Domain? Psychic beams? I feel like I walked into this movie kinda late. I will consider our options regarding Lord Dominion and his hordes. For now, we must attend to Mechanical. I've located his underground base by the Jefferson Gardens. Then we'll hit him where he lives! Strike Team, on board the Freedom Flyer in five! You were wonderful out there with those mech men. You're a regular tiger, aren't you? What do you want from me, Alchemist? You know what I think, Tin Man? You're like a steaming hot oven, with your dial stuck permanently on boil. Maybe one day you'll let me take a peek into that little suit of yours, so I can watch your gears turn. Stay away, Alchemist. You have no idea who I am, or what I'm capable of. Why, wow, Pumpkin, that's exactly why you're so delicious. Why, if it isn't the little eavesdropper. There's something very sad about him. I sense a terrible pain. You shouldn't toy with him. I appreciate your concern, but Manbot's a big boy. Now, if you'll excuse me, we've got a city to save. Later, in the lair of the mechanized madman. I've never seen anything like it. It's amazing. P. U. Where did mechanical study architecture? Veterinary school? Mock, Mock me, Philistine. Philistine. Your, Your laughter, laughter will, will soon turn, turn to tears. It's over, mechanical. You might as well give up. Today, I am indeed an architect of your destruction. Put a fork in this guy, Minuteman. I think he's done. What a surprise. You'll never track me down, fools! This outing shall mark your ending. Take a pill, Ferris Face. We don't need to find you. What are you talking about? Team. The schematics I've reverse-engineered imply a huge reactor powering the central computer. If you can find it, taking it out will ruin the base. Computer insect! Try what you want! You'll never get past my face! Good gravy! This installation is astounding! I've got a hunch that Mechanical doesn't have the kind of smarts you need to build a joint like this. This must be his comms room. Time to hang up the phone. Fools! You destroy what you cannot understand! This is where all the base's power comes from. Hold on. Stay away from the reactor! Why? It's atomic power. One false move and Freedom Force is going straight to the moon. But if you take out those generators, Mr. Mech's base will be done for. Catch me if you can! How do you like your damage? Like four for four! You guys are batting a thousand! Okay, team. That's all the generators down, and that means Mr. Moronicle won't be making any more evil robots. Curse you! 
If Mr. Mechanical is going down, he's taking a few meddling do-gooders with him. He's going to blow up the base! Get out of there, team! I have destroyed my home, meddling misfits, but two can play in that game. You will rue the day you ever matched wits with a mighty Mr. Mechanical! You must have patience, Manbot. The Energy X is deeply integrated into your physiology. It's hopeless. I should just accept my fate. To be a menace to my fellow man and an outcast. Forever. I cannot help but note that Energy X has provided each of you with powers that somehow reflect your personality. El Diablo is a born hothead, and his powers mimic his temperament. What part? My egomania? I do not see vanity before me, Manbot. I see guilt. I see despair. But most of all, I see a hero. Guys, hey guys, giant robot alert, and I mean now. Gropius? I laugh at him. <laughs> Frank Lloyd Wright, an amateur. Time to watch a real architect at work. Watch out, Microwave. These boys don't play nice. Analyzing. Target is not sentient mechanical construct. Guided by human piloting consciousness. Spare me your rundown, Gearbox. I'm on an artistic journey. A journey of destruction. Initializing defense protocols. All architects before me only knew how to build, create. Only I am bold enough to destroy. Let's start with that little school over there. Protect that school at all costs, Freedom Force. I've ordered this whole area evacuated, but even so... Red. The Freedom Fortress is under attack! From one metal man to another, you're all washed up. My toys! My lovely toys! You Philistines! All I ever wanted was to make the world a beautiful place! Hey, cheer up! You can always redecorate your cell. That poor man, so misguided. How could he turn art into a force of evil? Perhaps if we tried to understand him. What's with the weeping, Willow? That nutcase almost put us all out to pasture. At ease, Alchemist. First the clones, and now this. I said back off, lady. No, she's right, Minuteman. I have been... insensitive. Don't play nice with me, Sunshine. I see right through gals like you. You can't butter both sides of the bread without making a mess. Move it, Bottle Rocket! I missed something? What is it, Man of War? Despite your valiant exterior, I can tell something is troubling you. We were fortunate that only this headquarters of ours suffered from the lunatic's assault. What if the wee lads and lassies had met the same fate as these four walls? You refer to Sea Urchin and Liberty Lad? Ye gods, man! I refer to the whole lot of them. Half of them are scarcely out of short pants. If what Mentor says is true, we face a foe that threatens not just Freedom Force, but the very safety of the Earth itself. I'm not so sure on Earth where we put mere tots on the front lines is worth defending. A situation has arisen at the Museum of Ancient History. The hour has come. What are you talking about, man? Lord Dominion has sent Freedom Force a message. 
in the form of a fleet of intergalactic warships. As Mentor foretold, a domain invasion force soon appears at the Museum of Ancient History. Their troopers materialize through glowing teleportation portals, terrifying the populace. Has the end come at last? The domain is beaming in stormtroopers through these portals. Stand back, fellas. It's time for the alchemist to go to work. Your portal, fellas. Send me the bill. Excellent work, Alchemist. They won't have been expecting. Moons of Rexel! Another portal opens. This one's more potent. They must be bringing in something incredibly powerful. Fools! Lord Dominion demands the obliteration of this structure, and I, Praetor, shall deliver it to him! The Domain seem to be focused on destroying the museum alone. Furious. You must stop them! Fools! You've doomed us all! No point in sour grapes, Melonhead. You lost fair and square. So you'd like to think the Domain is far from your greatest threat? What do you mean, Praetor? Traitorous scum! You think you're saved, don't you? Well, let's see if you can hold together the timelines with your bare hands! What's he talking about, Mentor? Prepare to meet the doom you have prepared for yourself! Prepare for the coming of Time Master! We tire of your rant, Lackey. We send you back through your own portals to tell your master that the planet Earth is under the protection of Freedom Force! Fools, they have been deceived yet again. And the artifact I sought from the museum is mine for the taking. Very soon I shall meet this Freedom Force, and how I shall laugh when they learn that the reward for their labors shall be the end of time itself. Can this be the one who pulls the strings of both the Domain and Freedom Force? Can one so powerful, so brilliant, be stopped by even the noblest heroes of the galaxy? Perhaps that is a question best left unasked. What is a miracle greater than woman? What brightens up a room more than the entrance of a beautiful girl? What could be more innocent than the mind of a young lady? And what could be more foul, more insidious, than the mind who seeks to take advantage of these fragile wonders? Susan? Susan? Are you okay? What the blazes? Susan, what's wrong? Susan! What's going on out there? And I thought I had trouble with women. You say this is happening all over the city? Currently monitoring 112 incidents. What is it, Eve? These women are being overwhelmed by a force of nature itself, but something dark, primal, a force ugly, yet seductive all at once. You cannot mean that nature is literally rising up against us. Hey, save the bedtime stories for the kiddies. Hey! Eve, I want you to take a team and subdue any of these frantic females you come across and bring them back here for analysis. I will do as you ask, Minuteman, but I fear what we shall find. Be careful, Diablo. The mysteries of nature are legion. Hey, El Diablo ain't scared of some little chicas. You mock powers you cannot understand. Lighten up, Evie. This is supposed to be fun, right? Join us! Touch happiness and truth. Learn the pleasure that is fan! <laughs>
Be careful. These were women once. Swing for the master. Drink the wine of Pan. Great Gaia. But it can't be. Pan's just a myth. Drink. Drink. Join the sylphs in our celebration of Pan. <laughs> no. Get out of my mind. I yield. No more. <laughs> Who are you, sister? We are the Silts, <laughs> servants of Pan. She's fainted, but I can feel the presence of others. This way. Tell me, enthralled one, where is Pan hiding? The master oh, rules from his the island. Place. High above the clouds. Ah. How can I get there? How? Master! Look out! It's a trap! More of Pan's followers arrived by the second. Pan? You mean the Greek god? That's loco! I don't know what to believe, Diablo. Join us! <laughs> Join us! Madre de Dios! What is that? Immerse yourself in the dreams of the Master. She's no use. But I can feel the presence of others like her. I yield! No more! Please. I sense danger. What's happened to you? We serve Pan now. And soon, so shall you! <laughs> oh. Oh my that song. Do you hear it? Are you okay, Eve? I'm starting to worry about you. Diablo, we need to find this pan, and quickly. But how? Oh my God. Burn it up. Uh, no, uh, I can't. Uh, no more, I beseech ye. Snap out of it, Eve. We've got a job to do. But I know where the music is coming from. This way. Here comes it for liberty. Nature <laughs> My master is coming, and you will kneel before him. <laughs> master. For the grace of Gaia. Hello, beautiful. Time to meet your new boyfriend. Pan. In the flesh. Why don't you dump the slobs and get with the god? Eve, don't listen to him. I... I... No. Silly Diablo. Do you think I'd rather stay with you when I could have him? Delightful. Now come with me, my little plaything. All is prepared. <laughs> by Eve? Betrayed? Stabbed in the back by their own? Can Freedom Force possibly stop the Mad God? The citizens of Patriot City point to the sky. Is it? Can it possibly be? Yes, an island floats above the helpless city. And to this island, women are beckoned by the pulsating pipes of Pan. I never lacked that little walking bouquet anyway. That'll do, Alchemist. I won't believe Eve would betray us. Then you must have an advanced degree in self-delusion. You heard what Diablo said. Nevertheless, we must strike at Pan's island. Surely Eve is being held there. In time period of self, self was aware of existence of godlike entities in the temporal dimensional slipstream. Sorry, Microwave, but I don't speak gibberish. Fascinating. Microwave is implying that in his time, they are aware that time and dimensional travel are one and the same. And? And perhaps this pan is a god from another dimension. With all this talk of time travel, I wonder if this has anything to do with the Time Master character that Praetor was babbling on about. 
Well, there's some good news, gang. Where you been, bookworm? That dreary library again? Exactly! And I think I've discovered Pan's nasty little secret. What you gonna do, Einstein? Throw an encyclopedia at him? You know the old saying, an apple a day keeps the Greek god away. I know the fly in Pan's ointment, and his name's Microwave. According to the ant's research, you should be able to find a fruit that will cure Eve on the island. Tracking organic entities upon island surface. Be careful. We've already lost one teammate on this mission. <gasps> Trespassers! Well, well, well. It seems that some of my new love's former friends have paid us a visit. You'll find the reception here most unwelcome, Fuse Box. Freedom Force demands release of team member. Demand not negotiable. Or pan not with your tedious monotonies. I'll deal with you at my leisure. Take that. Low. Low. Excellent. That's enough fruit for now, Microwave. We can develop a cure by simply heating the fruit. Unit designated Microwave will now administer cure on test subject. An excellent approach. The sylphs should serve as sufficient test subjects as the fruit can cause them no harm. Oh my! Thank you! I've just been through the most horrendous experience! Request location of female. You mean besides me? Who are you talking about? Garment composition. 83% leafy matter, 17% bark and twigs. Hair color. Oh, her. She's that jerk pan's favorite. She's in the inner sanctum. How may entry be obtained? It only opens for pan, or one of his silks. If we're lucky, it will still open for me. Later. Entry accomplished. Objective established. Save Companion Eve. You're wasting your time, friend. I'm happy with my man. Eve, attempt no deliberate movements. Silence, you meddling machine. Guards, take these fools to our dankest dungeon. Eve, no! Very good, my bride. Tonight we shall drink and dance. And tomorrow we shall give your friends a very special gift indeed. Their execution. What fate can a god have for those who oppose him? And what of the lovely Eve? Will she ever come to her senses? Or does her betrayal run deep? Find out in the next episode of Freedom Force. The dawn approaches, and with it, the execution of these heroes by Pan. But the team's distress runs deeper than fear for their own lives. For what stings worse than a friend's betrayal? What a glorious morning. A fitting finale to a wonderful night. We shall feast before we send your friends to their doom. Glorious Pan, how can I eat when I could spend that time building an idol to your glory? You can't spend all your time in worship of my magnificence, darling. I live to serve you, my lord, and to bring you pleasure. Wait until you see the surprises I prepare. Analysis negative. Units of Freedom Force are incarcerated. Unexplained phenomena. Doors unlocking. Redirecting to maximally utilized situation. And further dimensional access by Sylphs. Calling Freedom Force Strike Team. Yes, the psychic link has been restored. Exercise caution, or you meddle in the affairs of gods. Turn now, mortals, or face the wrath of Pan! You again. 
Mortals, you fatigue me. But I will soon be rid of you when my mambles take care of you. You've forgotten one thing, my love. And what is that, my prettiest of conquests? Well, to begin with, I am not your conquest. You've got a rather unpleasant odor, and this comes from one who enjoys the company of skunks in full aroma. What? You've been played for a fool, Trickster. As you used nature to serve your will, I used you to serve ours. Only by getting close to you could I learn your secrets. Only by pretending to love you could I stop you. I control your mind! Yes, but my heart belongs to the Earth, and without a woman's heart, you have nothing. Ekanasa Vaelo Noho. So, you've studied my incantations behind my back. Treachery! You've known my nectar, woman. Now you shall know my venom! Observation. Eve creature must be restored to normal form. Procedure. Render unconscious and administer remedy. Now, a battle to warm the blood! Prepare yourselves! Engage battle sequence. I am restored. And now to stop you, Pan. Your impure form cannot survive being bound to the heart of nature. Stand back. Only my bind power can stop him. Sunflower, why have you done this? I offered you the love of a god. The only thing you love is yourself, Pan. Very well, Peas Blossom. You have taken my heart. Now take my life. No, that is not our way. I only ask you to restore things as they were, and then to leave this world and never return. Very well, I'll take my leave, but I'll also take my memories. Keep an eye on this one, Freedom Force. She's a rose with many thorns. Great Gaia! What's happening? Dimensional teleportation detected. Entire population of island returning to Patriot City. Nature's bounty! Eve entity suffering from attack. May Microwave offer assistance? I'm alright. It's just as if... the very Earth cried out in warning. Statement cannot be parsed. Syntax error. Explain. I can't explain it, but something terrible is about to happen, Microwave. And the fate of this very planet hangs in the balance. Freedom Fortress, 0600 hours. The team gathers for a priority meeting. What weighty matters could draw the attention of Patriot City's protectors? It doesn't make any sense! Are we talking about precognition here? Fate? Not necessarily. Eve claims she received a warning from the Earth or Gaia herself. If Gaia is truly sentient, her knowledge would be so inconceivably great that it could approach the semblance of precognition. So, you're saying that the planet is telling Eve the future? Eve, you mind uh, asking Gaia who's gonna win the playoffs this year? Well, excuse me if I don't get all flushed thinking about Eve's special abilities. I'll remind you, Freedom Force just kicked the honey of a Greek god. If you no longer fear gods, then perhaps you will fear Time Master! Yes. It is he who Gaia warned of. In the heart of our base! How did you... 
A small parlor trick to one who controls time itself. Enough small talk. Hope that tin foil is flame retardant, muchacho. Huh. What have you done to him, you fiend? Conserve the melodramatics, Alchemist. You'll have need of them later. What do you want, Time Master? Want? Ah, a man bought. I have but simple needs. I want to live forever. Good for you. Join a gym. I can travel through time at will and send my victims along the time continuum at a whim. I can even summon the gods to vex my foes. Yet I cannot stop my own aging process. Before I became what I am now, I lived a life of science, dedicated to discovering a technological fountain of youth. But alas, the answer lay not in ourselves, but in the stars. When I became Time Master, I traveled the ages and interrogated countless sages, mystics, and wizards. Until I discovered the key, the celestial clock, the beating heart of the universe. If one could somehow stop it, time itself would halt in its tracks. But that would destroy all living things. All living things, bar the master of time itself. And where do we fit into your mad schemes? The clock can only be stopped by a burst of energy great enough to shatter the foundations of the universe. A burst of pure energy X, you mean? By sending a string of second-rate simpletons against you, I gathered the data I needed to determine which of you had the highest concentration of energy X. I won't help you. Oh, but you will. You will indeed. He's taken him through the temporal barrier. What's going on? He must be sending us through time. But to when? Um, how do you guys feel about the Mesozoic Era? With their base and a good chunk of the city transported millions of years through time, the team regroups long enough to figure a way out of their current predicament and to free Manbot from Time Master's clutches. You've been nipping at DDT, Ant Boy? Somebody get this kid a psychiatrist. He's gone loco. You got any better ideas? So, we just lay these beacons you created in the designated locations? Just look for the giant crystals, like the one by the base. They'll act as amplifiers. Let me just make sure I got this straight. We place three beacons where you say, when they're all placed, you'll be able to amplify the Freedom Force communications rig to send an SOS forward through time? Yes. To the future? Exactly. To be received by Lord Dominion and the Domain? Uh-huh. Now, maybe this was a different Freedom Force I remember, but didn't we just stop Lord Dominion and his flunkies from trashing Patriot City? Hold, Diablo. Remember what Praetor said. Let us see if you can hold together the timelines with your bare hands. The Domain knew of Time Master and of his plans. If Time Master succeeds, all are doomed. Time Master must have been hidden out at the museum. And that's where he must have retrieved the artifact to summon Pan. The Domain were only trying to destroy the Frankenstein monster they had created. And they might be the only ones who know how to stop Time Master. I know I'm gonna regret this, but what are we waiting for? Save me! That's the crystal. This is almost too easy. <laughs> or maybe not. Another T-Rex! If what I've read is correct, they don't have very good vision. You should be able to edge past him. Just get that beacon placed. Get back to base. We're ready to try this out. I'm just warming it up. We're ready for action. 
How long will this take? I'm not exactly an expert at this kind of thing, boss. Freedom Force! What delicious irony! Dominion, wait! We come in peace! Just as well. You'll be leaving in pieces. You types never left! You have trained your monkeys well! Lord Dominion, we have a common enemy. So you finally realized your folly. Yes, thanks to you, we all face extinction from that ingrate Time Master. We only have the technology to transport a measly four warriors to the period of time he inhabits, Cannon Father. We'll go. Freedom Force doesn't leave a man behind. Are you mad enough to die on this fool's errand? Senior Dominion, we wouldn't miss it for the world. Very well. My minions will transport the rest of you back to your own time. Perhaps I underestimated you, Freedom Force. I look forward to the challenge of destroying you. We travel now to a place that should not, cannot exist, and yet it does. The Celestial Clock, the beating heart of time itself. Finally, I have you in my grasp. You will provide all the power I need to stop the Celestial Clock and bring the Time Stream to a halt! You'd have the whole universe die so that you may live forever. You find that selfish, I suppose. I have my own sins to bear. Perhaps we are not as different as you think. But I warn you, even if you succeed in time, you will regret this. Fortunately for me, Mambot, Time will soon be a thing of the past. Our heroes arrive in the cosmic realm of the Celestial Clock. What is this place? Stay sharp, team. We're gambling with the universe now. Freedom Force, it's me, Manbot. I'm tethered to the Celestial Clock. It gives me a kind of universal awareness. He intends to use my potential Energy X to destroy the clock, but he needs time. I can use my universal awareness to move you towards me on the time stream, but there will be obstacles in your way. Obstacles from your own past. You must vanquish these yourself. So, you think that tin can's gonna save you? First you gotta deal with Pinstripe. It's time to pay the Piper! And that Piper is Pinstripe! Burn it up! Well done, team. I can transport you to the next disc. Move to the portal in the center of the disc, all of you. We can't leave anyone behind. Stay sharp. There are more enemies from your past here. Now is the winter of your... dismemberment. Time Master is throwing everything he has at you. You must keep going. <laughs> Watch out! Harmony! More dinos! Here comes That's all the Raptors done for, team. You're doing well. That brings you closer to my time. Keep going.
once enough! A chance to rob you of your beauty! Madre de Dios, the lady, she's back! Time Master has given me a chance for revenge, and I intend to use it! I've heard about you, Shadow. You won't stand against Freedom Force. Shadow, I didn't want to have to do this again. Hurry. Time to make amends and see if we can all be friends. But if we can't, despite our wishing, I'll settle for your demolition. <laughs> Time Master is finding these enemies from your past. Let's hope he doesn't start pulling them from the future. Initialized. Destroy all anomalous organisms. Embrace Philistines! My vengeance is at hand! I'll make it quick! Here comes the bitch! Box one! Here comes the bitch! Getting weaker. Hurry. Makes a fool of Tan! Here comes it! Here comes it! Fox One! Keep moving! A pair of mighty Tyrannosaurus Rexes! Can Freedom Force take down the T-Rex tag team? I'm a quick victory! Box one! Box one! I'll make it quick! I had it coming to you! Too fast for mere lizards! Ha <laughs> ha! Well done, team! Nothing can stand in our way! Congratulate yourselves while you can, Freedom Force! For soon you face the most powerful force in the universe at the heart of his power! <laughs> Must hold on. Assessing situation. Human targets acquired. Extermination program initiated. It seems Time Master brought them from the same future that our friend Microwave came from. Fools! It seems I will have to deal with you myself! Or should I say, myself! <laughs> Here comes a bitch! Box one! Here comes a bitch! I'll make it quick! This is but a shallow victory! You will never be able to stand against me in my own sanctuary! You're close now. Step through the portal, and you'll be with me. And Time Master himself. Energy X amplifier is supercharging my powers. I'm reaching 
critical mass. I don't know if I can hold on much longer. You must release me from this device. You had it coming. Good thinking. Destroy those devices. Fools! You dare challenge me here in the heart of my power? Your sacrifice is for naught! How can you stop me when I can be in five places at once? Get me in there! controls the timelines. I do. I have become universally aware. Well done, friend. Now we just have to get out of here. You done good, friend. Now it's time for us all to head on home. Um, does anyone else think this place is looking a little dangerous? Jeepers! The power of Time Master! Is it power enough to send us home? The power is immense! I can only hold on for so long. I can open a portal back to our time, but you must hurry! Go! Go now! We're through! Quickly, Manbot! You must follow us! That was my fastest trip yet! But, what about Metalhead? Phew, it's good to be back, but what about Manbot? We're back, but why hasn't Manbot come with us? I cannot travel through the portal. Manbot, there must be another way! You've got to be kidding me. What? Are you loco? No, Manbot, you've saved us all, now save yourself! There is no other way. I must remain here to hold open the time portal. Hence, I cannot go through myself. Farewell, my comrades. Farewell, my friends. There will be future challenges. Meet them as you have met this one, as heroes. They are gone. Knowing there is no one within a million years that he may harm, he at last can remove a piece of his metallic prison. What is this strange feeling? Why is my heart so... light? I have no right to any satisfaction. My brother's blood still stains my hands. No armor can conceal that. But wait, what is it he once said to me? You think I'm some kind of heroic fool, throwing away my life to help others? You live for pleasure, but deny yourself of the grandest feeling of all, for you have never understood the pleasure of kindness. I never knew what he meant, but I think I do now, for I have saved others, and in doing so, I have saved myself. <laughs> <laughs>